Ah, Hollow Knight. We've all heard of the game before. Today, I'm going to be reviewing my journey with this game and the goal I've set myself up with. Make sure to like the video if you find it enjoyable and subscribe if you haven't already. I have a Discord in the description if you would like to check that out too. So, without any more delay, let's get into the video. I have played this game for a while. I have over 2,000 hours, and I still feel like those numbers gotta get up. On March 12th, 2020, I got this game and I immediately was mesmerized. This game quite literally changed my life. Before playing this game, I was constantly lost on what I wanted to do. I was either bored of what I was doing at the moment, or I was lost on what I should do later in my life. It was a mess, and I couldn't decide if I should just live my life as a child, or if I should worry about my future. That was four damn years ago. At the time of writing, March 25th, 2024, I have no regrets on, the, on how this has affected my life. It may seem a bit hard to believe, but this game helped me become more confident with myself, my lack of skill in FBS games, and my lack of social skills. So of course, this game means a lot to me. If I had the choice to just forget every little detail about the game, I'd do it just so I could play this game with no spoilers again. But at the same time, I wouldn't give those memories away for anything. In 2021, I discovered a mod for this boss, but I was on Xbox. Of course, it was any radiance. It was when the hype was at its peak. Being on Xbox though, I never got to play it until I somehow get a PC. So for three years, I admire this boss as I play at Absolute Radiance every day I can. Unfortunately, there were some IRL issues that I've been dealing with. Things too personal to share here right now. I will say though, that it got me really depressed. So I played Hollow Knight more. It was something I felt I had control of. Being a small child at the time, it was really the only thing I could realistically change. So I stuck to it. I'm not sure if it was exactly a healthy coping mechanism, but it got me through some hard parts in my life. So again, this game means a lot to me. Cut to February 21st, 2024. I finally got a PC, but it took me until March 1st to figure out how to get mods on here. I decided I'd beat Any Radiance 2.0, but we all have to start somewhere, and I don't feel like it's wise to immediately jump to 2.0, so I thought maybe I should try an easier mod, like two Absolute Radiances or Supernova. Nah, I'm just gonna <laughs> jump right into this. So I downloaded Any Radiance 1.0 with the help of Early, a friend of mine who's in the Hollow Knight Any Rad Discord. So I got to playing it. First time I tried, I actually did really well considering it was my first modded boss. Turns out getting so good at Absolute Radiance that you can beat it without touching the ground really helps out in situations like this. When I was first trying to beat Absolute Radiance on Radiant Difficulty, man, I hated it. But at the same time, it was so fun. I'd listen to the song Ship in a Bottle while playing it as I sat down next to a huge TV. My feet were cold and the headset was just the slightest bit uncomfortable. I'd make some of the most basic mistakes while getting bad at the RNG that the boss had. I'd sometimes forget that spells even exist and I would be so mad every time a Spotify ad came on. At the same time though, I felt so at peace while I was doing it. The feeling was like how you would reminisce about a memory that you had as an 8 year old, but I was actually living in it. Sure, change was happening everywhere, we 
just moved into our new house and there were so many bad things that needed to be changed at the time. I mean, hell, there's still a lot of things that need to be fixed, but I was really enjoying life. You know, it's kind of funny how a common interest can help you meet new and amazing people. Hell, I met my best friend just because we both were in a Hollow Knight server and I challenged him to make my OC. Turns out, we have common interests like Hell of a Boss, Bad Jokes, and of course Hollow Knight. Plus, I met some really incredible people that I look up to skill-wise. There's a lot that this game has done for me and I'm sure that there's people who feel the same. Anyways, this video is meant to be a short review of how the game has changed me, not an essay. So I won't go too deep into this, but I had the thought to make this because I'm sure many people can relate to at least a little bit of it. This isn't the first review of Hollow Knight and how it's changed a person's life, nor is it the best, I'm sure. But it's mine and it'll stay like that. So, to conclude this video, go play Hollow Knight right now. And if for some reason you've never heard of it before, and this video introduced you to it, go download it buy it and play it blind not everyone has the same experiences so i can't guarantee that you'll have as much fun as i did but it's still a great game and it deserves a chance anyways comment if you can relate to any of this uh like the video if you think that this is good and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching